Cheers. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install our four speakers. Uh, let's go get to it. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me uh, look at the PDF first. <laughs> Ta-da! I don't know if you can tell by the title or the thumbnail. This is what we're doing. Beamer Tech Alpha One speakers for the E90. I did have options between doing it on the E92 or the E91. E91, I drive it the most. This car kind of sits, but it's fast. And I kind of want some good music with fast. So I chose this setup, which is a full Alpha One set like you have the subwoofers you have front speakers and then you have the rear speakers which is what's in the box and i think adding speakers to the car makes the overall driving experience a little bit better and also my subwoofer on the passenger side has been swimming in water for god knows how long so i don't think i don't even think it works and then also the driver's side door front door the speaker is bad i think as well so i thought this would be a perfect addition to the car as far as upgrading everything and making everything sounds really really nice so let me show you guys what comes in the alpha one package by bimmer tech there is three boxes when you purchase these you can choose between the three or you can choose all three which means you can get either front speakers, you can get just the subwoofer set, or you can get the whole entire package. I opted out for the whole entire package by Beamer Tech because I don't just want front speakers or just subwoofers without speakers because that just doesn't, doesn't sound yeah. the best. Obviously, if you have like aftermarket subwoofers in your car and you just want to upgrade for a plug-in play speakers, I would choose just the speaker set without the subwoofer, but I have to offer the whole thing because everything in the car is stock. So we'll open each box and show you guys what we have inside. Package number one. You have the Alpha One subwoofers, four bags. So it comes with screws and the spacers. You have those, you have connector and the speaker itself or the subwoofer itself. So that's what you can expect as far as the subwoofer upgrade goes. All right, so package number two. We have front speakers. Obviously I took out the wiring, but it is tucked in there when it gets shipped. So you have one, two, three different wiring harnesses for three different speakers because you have two door speakers and then one for the dash, specifically for my car, because my car came with this package from factory as far as the sound system. So. You have to select the right sound system for your car because some of them don't have certain speakers, some of them do. So make sure you check your VIN or go to VIN decoder or go to Beamer Tech and have them look at your VIN to verify which system you have. Package number three, you have the rear set. So the rear set comes with two speakers for the doors each side. You have two speakers for the deck in the back and then you have two tweeters as well for the deck in the back. Obviously corresponding wiring harnesses because they do have resistors in them. So you do have to use these. This is all that it comes with, the full package from Imertech. So first thing we're gonna do is probably be the front of the car. We'll do the door speakers and then we'll move on to the subwoofers, which on my car is a little bit different because I do have bucket seats. If you have factory seats, it's pretty much the same process. The only difference is mine are like floor mounted so I can take them off differently. But I'll show you guys what you have to do as far as OEM ones. This is uh, one problem I have with mine. My speaker cover is kind of like not good or broken. So I do have another door card to replace. So while we do the speakers, I'm also gonna replace this door card with the one that actually came out of his car. Cause why not? I donated it to him. Yeah, and I actually painted it black. <laughs> but anyways. First thing you just have to do for the front door card is pull this off 
Mine comes off really easy. Some cars, you have to like put more force into it, but it's literally just pulling it off. You have one, two, three, yep, three. Uh, T20, I believe. Yeah, T20. Mine, one of them is missing. So there's that. T20 there. After that, you can take a pry tool or do what I did. Just pull on the door card. Don't lose your screws. Uh, this guy just comes off really easy. Just pull it off. You have to disconnect the connector for your window switches. And then here, it's gonna be the light for the bottom of the door. That's how that comes off. We're not gonna actually take off the speaker because we're gonna transfer a new door card, but we will take it off just to compare it to the old ones or the new ones. So that is how this is done. The first part, the front door. Go ahead and move on to the dash, which there's a speaker up top. And that sits right where the vent is. And all we have to do is just pry it up and then remove the speaker out of there. A special tool called a pry tool. So all you have to do is just press down on the dash, pry it up. That's how you get access to the center one. Now we're gonna move on to this side, which is Essentially the same process as this, except once you pull this off, once you pull that off, you also have to pull off this door handle because you have a T20 here. So there's three of them as far as the hardware goes. And there you go. Back to the door cart, same process you have the speaker wiring, then you have the window control, and that's how the door card comes out, and the speaker is right there. So we got the front rear off. Now we just need to get to the back one, and then the last one is gonna be the subwoofer, which is underneath the seat. All right, so this is the back. Uh, it's kind of dark in here, because I do have 5% tint. So as far as the back goes, same thing. Use a pry tool. That's pretty much it. You take the cover off. You have two eight mils on the tweeters and then three eight mils on the speaker. We're gonna go ahead and remove these and then move on to the subwoofer. All right, so the front, obviously I have a bucket seat. So it's not gonna be the same as OEM system. With the OEM seats, all you have to do is literally raise the seat up all the way to the max and then push it forward to get two bolts off the front and then push the seat back to the front and then get, get the back two bolts. With mine, I have to loosen the sides of my brackets and then fold the seat almost forward to get the speaker out because it is floor mounted. So it's kind of hard to get to. I'm not gonna really show you this part because it doesn't apply to most of the stock cars out there. You'll get the general idea of how to do it when you have a stock seat in it. We got everything off. You can tell the difference right away. <laughs> this one is kind of heavier too. Giant like magnet on there. Yeah, it's outdated technology. Yeah, versus this, pretty light. It looks way better, like 10 times better. And it looks like the material that they use here is actually way better than this. I think this by far the biggest difference out of all of them is that looks like crap. <laughs> way better looking and the materials on there as well. This is metal as well. But the rest of the speakers are all identical. Pretty much the only difference is the size. We're gonna go ahead and do the dash one, then we'll install the subwoofer, and then we'll do the doors. So, connect this. You just get the provider harness with the resistor on there. Connect it to the new speaker. Ta da! So, do that. It. He's saying to use the old screws from the old speaker done. to hold the speaker in place. I have to replace mine, but in your case, you shouldn't have to. 
So you just slap that back in. Now we move on to the subwoofer. As far as the install for this goes, in my instance, obviously I still have the seat in because it's kind of tough to get it out. What I did was I just spaced it away where I can sneak this new one in. You have a slot underneath here that it goes in. So there's four bolts in each corner. And then once you put the bolts in, all you have to do is just connect this harness, which I'll do afterwards. So before it's installed, the only thing I'm missing is the cover for mine. Usually you have a cover on top, but mine doesn't. So now we're gonna install the tweeter right here. Snake the connector in here. And then this just clips in there. There's also a foam piece behind this. All right, so that's the proper way to install it. You gotta make sure that the plastic piece goes over the bar frame and then goes behind the gasket so you don't get water inside. Now we'll move on to the front door, which I'll use a different door, door panel, I should say. And we'll use a different cover, This because this cover is just not it, not at all. So all the door speakers actually come with these spacers for the speaker itself to get it away from the door card. So you have one that's just a straight through and then you have one that has like an indentation in it. What I did was I stacked them together. You have the speaker over it like so. And then you just put the bolt through it. Tightens the speaker against the door card. Like so. So now we can install the front door card back on and move on to the rear. I'm just reconnecting all the OEM stuff first and then we'll connect the speakers. You do have to put the, the new wiring harness with the resistor on there. The wires are plugged in. One goes from the tweeter to the speaker. Then you have one wire which is provided with the resistor going to the OEM harness. Obviously I don't have the weather stripping cover whatever on here, but if that was the case, you have to put the wires in the correct position. Now that's on, last step is just, in my case, only two hard hardware thingy screws. For most people, it's gonna be three. So one here, one here, one over here. And then I just gotta get the cover and then put it on. So here's the back, same thing. Spacers, hardware, same process. We're gonna put the new harness on, connect it to the OEM, and then put the door card back on. There's that, there's that. And then just the window switch on this side. That goes on. The last step is just the hardware. And that's how the door card is put back on. So as far as the back goes, you have this speaker, which is a smaller speaker than the doors. And you have a tweeter. And it's the same process. You put the new one in, as far as the tweeter goes, route the wiring through, and then connect it to the speaker. And then the speaker connects to the new resistor. And then you go to the OEM connector. So after you do that, you just Simply put it on and then you have for the back you have eight mils that screw into the OEM spots. So three on a speaker and then two on the on the tweeter. And that will pretty much complete the whole entire install. So as you can tell, new haircut, new clothes, that means new day, new table. We did complete the whole entire car. We just showed you one side because obviously the other side applies the same way, I guess. We finished the passenger side, all the speakers are on. The front is all done as well. But the new system, I already heard it myself. Sounds pretty good, but that won't be in this video. So I'll do a full review of the system in the next video. If you guys want to install these speakers, they do have full instructions as far as PDF goes, and they also have online support team. They actually have a 
installation facility, I guess, here in Orlando. So if you guys want to get it installed without worrying about anything, you can go over there. Or if you want to do it yourself, you can obviously hit them up on Instagram, on their website. Everything is all there. But I'll link everything down in the description below. I will review the whole entire system in the next video. For this video, that's about it. We've accomplished what we needed to do. And yes. <laughs>